Hi there. Uh, we've got some properly unisex uh, products to talk about today. Mm. So uh, Simon's slightly my guinea pig on this. Are you prepared? You prepared? Luckily, to try? it's the end of a day on a Thursday, so, <laughs> so you don't have to go back to work with glitter. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's start off with this works. It's a favourite of yours, isn't it? I love this work. Right, so you do this. Too, don't you? I do. Yeah, I love some things. Some yeah. things are amazing, yeah. and then other things just don't. <coughs> excuse me, just don't resonate. And this is uh, Sleep Plus. This is the new Sleep Plus range. And we this can't particular test that out thing, because I will fall asleep. Uh, yeah, you see, I don't think you will. That's my point about it. And there's also there's a couple of other things, but there's also a hair elixir. So. And a, and a body moisturiser. And I don't know if you know the smell of um, this work sleep spray, mm. but it's very lovely. Yes, I know. It's very lovely. It's very soothing. It's absolutely lovely. But I just feel with a spray, um, you're not doing quite something quite so permanent as putting it in your hair. I mean... A, Is that hair? Yeah, that's a hair elixir. So it's sort of supposed to improve the condition of your hair and, and make all you that sleep. sort of thing. But it's got that smell in it, and I just feel at three o'clock in the morning that might drive me mad. Just wake up and just smell this stuff in my hair. Whereas a little waft on a pillow is yeah. a different thing. This you it says you rub onto your elbows and knees. Well, if, and it, how, if you only... unless you unless you sleep like that. <laughs> but I do. Do you not sleep like that? Oh well, yeah, I guess I don't. Yeah. But I guess people do. You could, but I don't know what you do with the knee if it's only your knee. <laughs> yeah. So you'd have to be in a real like fetal position. Yes, exactly. But super fetal position. I kind of like what they're trying to do. I think it's a bit of a it's a bit of a miss. However, the body lotion I've been it. using it on my arms. It, it smells nice. Ooh. I've been using it on my arms. Almost like a spray. And just on arms only. Actually, it was very pleasant, but I don't like the idea of putting that smell in my hair. And also, you will still smell of it the next day, won't you? Um, I guess the, the hair one you probably definitely will yeah. do. Which is, I mean, lavender's, lavender, lavender's Lavendon. nice. Lavender's nice. Yes, it is. Have <laughs> you like tried a, lavender? Sounds like it's a place, sister? Lavender. Yes. Um, Have you been to Lavender? Yeah. I might go there tonight, asleep. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Nice. Right. So... Um, basically, I'm picking stuff out that I think Simon's going to like do, because we they're very. Yeah, we've got loads. We've got loads of stuff. Also from this same brand, Eminence, is the balancing mask. And I don't know if you know, but there's kind of a trend for multi-masking. Multi-masking. Yes, which I heard somebody get very cross about uh, the other day, <coughs> uh, saying that it's just bloggers who are sent too much stuff trying to use all all their different masks up at once. But that's actually got half half, hasn't it? Yes, it has. You do that. Use your I mask think half, half. sometimes do you like half I do. your face. You do like no, one mask You're... and half the face. You do one. No, it's not like, You're like that. Oh, look. No, one's up there and one's down there. It's not. No. No. Okay. So let me explain it further. Okay. Okay. What you would do is use some of this clay bit around the nose and the forehead where you're much more oily, really? yeah. and where you don't have any oil use and want a little bit of hydrating. You use the other one. Mm, do you not think nice. that's a really good idea? It's I actually like, do think that is yeah. a very good idea. Just let's show you. So that's, that's good like. for oily skin. Great for guys. It's good I love. For... I love that idea actually. <coughs> nice. I do as well. I'm so sorry. Have you, have you tried that out, or you haven't yet? No. There's no finger marks in it. No, I haven't tried it yet. I think you should try it. I've and been trying a lot of this brand's products, and I'm so far so good. I have to say. I do like the idea of that. Is there any other brands that are doing that? <coughs> or is it just silly bloggers who are making it up? Silly, it's the silly bloggers, <laughs> silly bloggers. isn't it? Those so bloggers. no, but it just goes to show, uh, make the point that um, actually if you are using a mask there, it is possible that you might need to use a different thing here. I think you do. Then, then, then because here. Because I get quite oily. You can see actually I'm quite oily in my forehead today. Well, most people get shine here and, and on the nose. So yeah, No, but I don't have oily skin. And guys tend to have naturally more oily skin yeah. than women. But I just so this is from a brand called Eminence, and it's called Balancing Mask Duo. Mm, I like the idea. Of that. Okay, the next thing we're going to be hearing a massive amount about is anti pollution. Oh, and now I saw this on your blog the other day. Yes. And I like the look of it. I have a go with it then. Um, this is the Ren uh, Flush uh, anti pollution spray. Yeah, you yeah. do. But 
it's a, it's a slightly a leap of faith this kind of thing because it's a clear liquid but i did a periscope the other day and i was talking about um about my friend it's not, who it's not going on me mm. yes it is mm. so that would hopefully help you for your skin not to uh be um targeted by pollution pollution yes like a barrier yeah it's like a barrier it layer nice. like yeah with it's really nice. pretty but my friend carolyn uh is a city guide in london mm. and she has got um a really sore eye from the pollution in the city because she's walking around it all the time so I was thinking, anybody who's cycling in this does their does their commute by on a cycle. It does say to close your eyes, though. Simon, you don't need to keep your eyes closed all the time you're wearing it. <laughs> you want to spray it in your eye, though, Carolyn? You, she didn't. Oh, okay. She just has a sore eye from pollution. I know, but to protect your eye, you don't want to oh, go. Oh no, it won't protect your eye. <laughs> But, I'm just, that's no, my know. example of I what pollution literally. can do. You did take it a bit literally. But I think if you're cycling, if you're like running um, and you do urban running or yeah, urban cycling, then that might you, be a I thing. I do think we work in central London and yeah. I think this is going to be like really good for people who live in central London. Because I walk down region and I'm like, this is disgusting. Well, just when you wash your hands when you get in from travelling uh, through London, they yeah. just, it, they're just they just grey. And it does smell really nice. Yeah. Very so, nice. So, you know, you're not going to need, that. you won't need that sort of thing if you live in the wilds of Scotland or the middle of nowhere. You won't really need it. But um, I do think that why not belt and braces? Yeah. So, now okay. another product is the Bioderma. That you won't believe this, okay? It's not actually available in the UK yet, and I think we might have covered it on a video before, but it is launching this year. Is this, this is not the crackling one, is it? No, it's not the crackling oh, one. I like that one. Oh, I know you I did. Like that one. Yeah. Anything crackles and menthol. Yes, and it's fun. <laughs> it is. Yeah. yeah. No, so this <laughs> is um, basically it's an SPF 30, mm. but in a spray, mm. as though it, it's a mist. Mm. Can you imagine an SPF in a mist? For your face or body or everything? Anywhere you want. So give me your hand and let, let people see. <gasps> That's nice. That is the... Very look, soft. It's and... not white. It's not... It's just completely clear mist yeah. and it's SPF 30. Even... Expect this one to sell out. That sounds nice. So I'm you... absolutely sure it will sell out. As soon as it launches, it will sell out. I bought this in Paris when I was there last summer. Or last autumn. That's a good find. Oh, it's absolutely brilliant. Like that. Yeah. It's not for the beach. It's for when you're going out in your lunch hour and it's really, yeah, and you just and... Psh, psh, do that. And a great size that is yeah. to just put in your handbag. Absolutely. It? Absolutely. Don't mistake it for your hairspray, though. No. Well, but your hair wouldn't suffer. It just wouldn't do a hairspray job. <laughs> no. No, it wouldn't. You're right. It wouldn't do any harm, but I don't think it would do any good. I just, I'm, I'm I know, yeah, I knew I'm you would. I'm reaching for this. I brought this specially for Simon. It's the Kardashian Beauty Dry Conditioner with black seed oil. Um, I used that, and it was actually not bad. I, think I that's thought what you're it was going about to be it. awful, and so it was. So this is dry shampoo, basically. Yeah, it's oh, dry, dry conditioner. conditioner. So if you've got little frizzy dry ends or whatever, you put it in mine because I've got a bit of dryness here. Just do the ends, though, Simon. And you, then you just can't... I think that was all there. Have another go. Oh, I don't like the smell. It's very Kardashian, that smell. How do you know what a Kardashian smells of? Because I had I had Kim's perfumes. Did you... Was it Kardashian you, I took you to meet? We. Oui. Was Which one was it? <laughs> Kim! Oh, was it? <laughs> oh. I mean... I see, can't really that's see like non... Hair, but... <coughs> it's making me cough. It's not the nicest fragrance, I've got to be honest. But if you say it works, it works. I do love the packaging, though. Like, <coughs> the I found it, I just ombre. found it quite, ni quite nice, and it did the job. It did actually do that thing of just... Because um, dry conditioners are a new <clears throat> thing, aren't they? Newish, yeah. Yeah. I thought they were brand new, but I got properly told otherwise. Okay, so now I thought you would like this. It's new from Maybelline. It's Brow Drama Pomade Pencil for, uh, for Brows. Do you want to give it a go? What do I do with it? Well, what do you think? Just pencil my brows in. You draw a moustache. No, oh. you do. <laughs> yeah, you just. See, that's enough. That's enough. We're oh, not no, going to like seal it. brows. Stop it. Oh, my God, you've given yourself Kardashian brows. Sorry, man. That's all right. I'm going to go back to my husband. He's going to be like, what are you done? 
They're quite nice. How do they look like slugs? Seals. They're like two seals on a rock. They're not too bad. Actually, I do think these are really good. Max got a much more expensive one coming out very shortly. I thought you meant your son. I'm sorry. No, not <laughs> so, my son's called Max. Uh, so no, no, Mac. You know, Mac, oh, Mac. makeup. That very sorry, famous. Thought, you definitely thought makeup you said brand. Max. I didn't say Max. I said Mac. Um, I knife. like these. Yes. So that's a really good colour and fit brand. Okay, good. Unisex. So it kind of like holds product. it into place and stuff. Actually, it? and it doesn't look oily either because sometimes brows can look a little bit greasy if you put stuff on it. I like that. Right, nice. okay. We're so. Are we running out of time on this? We're up to 13 minutes. Right, okay. Minutes. So I'm going to race through the next few. N not least because this is quite a new launch and it's the uh, L'Oreal Paris Magic Touch Root Concealer. I don't want that in my hair, so. I'll no. But if you have. A parting issue with greys, mm. amazing. Anywhere else, it will literally go everywhere. I did it. I tried to do it on the little section because it has that fine oh, yeah, nozzle good. like that. No, because that looks like it's going to be but really it goes, Pow! yes. So basically, it comes out of here and then just explodes outwards. Rather you do than all your hair. <laughs> well, I did all my ear as it happened. <laughs> so I was trying, why I had a brown. I was trying to do a little bit like red. I did literally have, have a brown, a brown ear. ear. Well, it's, yeah, I mean, those things are always quite good for just quick fixes, aren't they? Yes. So I just, just but I really could, keep it on the straight. Don't go for any fine My only thing with these things is, obviously, that is just brown. Yes. And obviously, there's like three million thousand trillion shades of, brown. shades of brown. Yeah, but it's not for people who have got completely grey hair that want to turn it back no, brown. No, of course not. It's, it's just, just for the odd root. straggler that, that, it's just for the odd grey okay. root or something yeah. like that, I would have thought. Um, 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 Pep Star Eye Cream. I know you love an eye cream, don't I you? I do. I'm really rating this. this I've seen is, everyone talk about this. Yeah, this is the new one from Clinique. And, well, see love what little, you think. Love the little packaging. Yeah, so that, it just, oh, hello. <gasps> Sorry. <Whoop. laughs> there you are. It's fine. Comes out like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love putting eye cream on. But I think Something you're supposed to roll it on, though, that hence the ball shape. Yeah, but you've probably used it, haven't you? You might have a lurgy. Under my eye. I like dabbing it on. See, I think it's nice. It's very refreshing. And also, if you've got lines and creases, as I have, under your eyes, it really, I feel, it's a good base oh. for makeup. So, so it doesn't all um, sort of uh, go into the finer lines, if you like. That, that leaves it very nicely hydrated. Mm. Right, finally, finally, because I'm losing my voice is um, the KMS <clears throat> Free Shape. <clears throat> Apparently, <laughs> I know, sorry. What's this? It halves the time of your blow dry. Really? Yes. So if you guys on the go, mm. that's going to be really handy because if you need to just... Uh, well, I blow dry my hair yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. So it, it just... So obviously you should put this on before you blow dry your hair. Yes, because how could it half your blow dry <laughs> and, afterwards? And what, what, what does that actually do then? I don't know. Hmm. Accelerates dry time, reduces friction, and protects his hair from heat while conditioning. I imagine it's got alcohol in it. I I don't not I, not gin, but you know has alcohol. it has it yeah. I imagine that's what it is. Just shoving a bit of gin <laughs> over your head. Pretty much. Well, I'd I'd give that a go. Yeah, give it a go. See what you think. Anyway. Anyway. I think that's kind of it from us. Uh, so. Thanks Hope for you joining have a us. Great day, yeah. Thank you very much for joining us. Love uh, my brows. Completely unisex stuff today, um, and we've got a nice rose video coming up because somebody likes roses it's a lot, not all and rose. it's not me. It's not all rose. Mostly rose, though, it's isn't mostly it? Mostly rose. <gasps> Tune in.